it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Sunday's Weekly Beauty Hits and Misses. I hope you're all having a great day. Hope you guys had a great week. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I try to do this every Sunday. Um, and I actually have two misses. It's kind of the same thing, but two different, um, two, you'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try to get some recording done today. And it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I have not had no luck. So I'm determined to get some filming done. So anyway, uh, let me know guys how your week was. Ours was okay. I'll, I'll just pitch it so it was a sad week. Uh, my best friend unfortunately lost her kitty cat. Um, he was almost 17 years old. Yeah, it was just time. So, yeah, I'm so sad to, to see her. I mean, I, my heart breaks for her, but she knows she did the right thing. But he, he just, you know, he was ready to go. So, Anyway, please keep her in your prayers, and I'll let you guys know how she's doing, but um, I don't remember if I mentioned that Makeup Monday or not. Um, our cats are doing well. Um, I mentioned on Makeup Monday that Emma Sue, or one of our cats, was getting really, really ill, and we were worried about her. We've been nursing her back to health, and she's doing so much better, so praise God. But please keep my best friend Krista in your prayers, um, especially getting close to Christmas in a few days. I'm really worried about her, and just, ugh. Please keep her in your prayers. It's just, I hate to go through that. Um, she got Shadow's uh, remains back. Um, they She had them cremated. And he, um, I walked by uh, his box. And I just started bawling. Because I was thinking about my Smokey Joe over here. So, and I, I feel so bad for her. So, anyway. Please keep her in your prayers. And thank you for your prayers. Some of you offer prayers on Emma Sue. She's doing much better. We think she's back to normal. So, anyway. Let's get on with the video. So, sorry about the sad news. I don't want to let you guys know how our week was. So, and I knew I didn't want to put this out on Getting Ready With Me Wednesday. I'm actually going to, I was going to do a Getting Ready With Me look with this one going. So I have another pre-recorded video that's just going to go up in place of it. So let's get on with it. Um, and I've got like two or three other videos that I'm determined to get done today. If not, it's going to be done Tuesday, but I'm hoping today it will get done. So anyway, let's go ahead and start off with the mist that was for me. I've been using this product for about a month, maybe two months now. And I'm just to the point where I can't deal with it anymore. And I love the shampoo brand. I just don't like this particular product. And I think I'm just going to have to go back to what I was using. I was trying to use this to keep my nose from itching. Um, it's the Tresemme Color Revitalized uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. I have the conditioner over here. Or the shampoo over here. But this is the conditioner. Um, this dried the holy crap out of my hair. Like I suspect it was going to. But I really wanted to use it to keep the color locked in but oh my gosh I've got to have extra moisture because my hair gets so dry so um it did a pretty decent job with keeping the hair coloring but if I'm gonna use a hair colorant shampoo uh kind of uh shampoo I just said that the shampoo and conditioner I need something that's also gonna help me lock in the moisture and I felt like this did not so I've got half of a couple of bottles of uh, uh, you know the shampoo and conditioner and I'm determining Depending on whether to keep on using it because it, it, I've had to wash my hair, it seems like, either every day or every other day. And I'm used to not washing it except for every three days. And when I was going through our extra bathroom stuff, I came across a couple other shampoo, another shampoo and conditioner. I've had better luck with it. And so, until I can get to the store and buy the Tresemme brand, because um, I love the Tresemme um, what is it, the anti-frizz shampoo, and I use their moisturizing conditioner, um, and it works great with, with my hair, and then, um, until I get to the store and get that, I'll probably get that, um, next couple weeks, um, I'll, I'm gonna use the other one, I think it's like herbal essence, but I cannot, cannot remember for the life of me what it is, and so I found that, and I used it in my, on my hair this morning, and my hair is loving me again, so, yeah, I mean, as much as it did a good job, I just, uh, I've got to have something that just, uh, it says it, it helps replenish vital moisture, but I'm sorry, it did not. My hair felt like it, the moisture sucked out. When I was having to put my leave-in conditioner in and my that um, hair mask in, that's the only time it really came alive. If I didn't use that, it just... And I don't always have time to put the leave-in conditioner or the hair mask in my hair. So, yeah, if, you, if your hair is kind of like mine in that regard, pass on this. Like I said, it did a decent job of keeping my hair colorant, but if it fades, it fades. I'm, I've got a couple of gray hair up here anyway. It's, it needs to be recolored anyway. So 
moving on. Okay, now, let's start off with the faves. This is my favorite product I was using. I've had this since last year, maybe a lot longer than this. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I think we all know what this is. It smells delicious. For one, my asthma. I love this because my asthma, I just said that. I have asthma, you guys know, and it didn't, you know, then aggravated. Um, it smells really good and it doesn't give me a headache. So I've been using the crap out of this. Um, I know I've had this longer than I should, but I am determined to use this bottle up. I did really good not buying any uh, Bath & Body Works shower gels. You know, if I get any Bath & Body Works uh, gift cards, I'm going to go back over there and get me some others. I'm disappointed I couldn't get over there to get the uh, peppermint, twisted peppermint, but maybe next year. But oh my gosh, this has just been awesome. I've been using this as soon as I get out of the shower. I'm sure you can find a dupe for this. I've seen some people, ooh, let's not hit myself in the face. I've seen some people, um, a friend of mine was talking about the, getting off, kind of a little off in the right field here, that um, Walmart has some really awesome dupes for their candles. And I'm like, huh, that'd be a great alternative. And they're a lot cheaper. So go check out your Walmart. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the brand is, but it's a, a lot of them are duped for their candles. So I'm sure if you can dupe the candles, you can definitely dupe this in some way. So anyway. Okay, let's get on with the makeup products. Not too many. This is all I have this week. I wore makeup several times. Um, <clears throat> but I was trying to stick to stuff that I just relied heavily on. Um, this was not in there. But okay. First product was, once again, my NYC Smooth Skin um, and Translucent. I love this stuff. I will always have this. If you like the lo loose version, but you don't like the, um, oh, that's why I had this in my video. If you like the loose version of this, which I definitely do, but you don't like the mess, get the compact one. It's a lot less messier and does the same thing. So I really love this. And I think that's pretty much what I wore on my face all week. I wore them all in multitasker face powder, I think once, I think. Anyway, um, eyeshadows, um, I wore, <clears throat> take a drink. By the way, the drink today is Arizona green tea and ginseng and honey. Awesome. I love these cans. It's in a 23 fluid ounce. Anyway, the Beauty Benefits Trio, the central eyeshadow trio that I had hauled a while back. <sighs> love this. <clears throat> my voice is like Bleh. anyway um the colors are really pigmented I was really nervous that they w wouldn't be but this is an awesome everyday neutral look I think that you can get with it and I really love the colors and so um I know a lot of people have been hauling the green ones if they have purple I'd love to get my hands on the purple ones but I'm just not even bothered with it but I'm just happy to have this one and I really if I want a neutral look I just gravitated toward this a little bit more especially over the chocolate bar palette even though that's still, uh, you know, it's whatever. I, I like the chocolate bar palette, but then again, I don't know. I just got some colors that are lacking in that palette, but, you know. Now, the second palette that I really fell in love with, um, again, and it gravitated toward it. I think I did it getting ready with me this week. The Petal Pusher palette. I love the look I did with this, and I used it, I think, at least two times total. So, highly recommend this if you need a really good... Uh, qual quality and choices of purple eyeshadow. I think this is a great little palette. You can get it at most of the drugstores. I think Walgreens has it for like five bucks. Um, CVS has it over there too. Uh, CVS or Walgreens or even Walmart has it. So great little palette. Blushes. The ones I wore the most this week was this LA Colors one. I think I told you guys I fell in love with it and oh, it's still a favorite. I know not everybody likes LA Colors, but I do. I like a lot of their products, um, their face products, not so much because they break the crap out of them, break me out, like, you know, they break me out. Anyway, this is in, <coughs> I've suddenly lost my voice. Get another drink. It's probably all the recording I've been trying to get done. Anyway, this is in the color Berry Plum. I got this at the Dollar Tree. If you'll go check out my last Dollar Tree haul, that's where you'll see it. I fell in love with this, and I think it also make a great eyeshadow. I didn't hold that very long, did I? Anyway, you guys get the gist of it. There it is. I love this blush. Oh, now, it didn't come off as pigmented, but it gives you just the right amount of color that you need. And 
you know, blend it out a little bit more. So I think that's why I like it. It's so like a light, easy, everyday, very uh, plummy blush. <clears throat> and the other palette, that I, uh, the other blush I wore, and again, Beauty Benefits from Went Wild at the Dollar Tree. This is a really great little blush. I bought an extra one for a friend of mine, but she got this sent to her, so I'm going to gift it, or I'm probably going to honestly just put it in the giveaway because that I am having. I went out shopping Wednesday for you guys, and um, I was going to vlog, and it was raining. It was a no-go. Stay tuned for that giveaway. <laughs> yeah, it was just really hard because everybody's trying to get to the mall and, and the areas and so forth, and that's why I couldn't vlog while I was out. I was like, Really? It was raining pretty bad. They had some accidents. But anyway, moving on. If you see this blush at the Dollar Tree and you're not sure, grab these blushes. They're awesome. It's actually a pigment, more pigmented than that one from LA Colors. But like I said, the LA Colors one gives you just the right, I guess, like the winter glow, I guess, kind of. Yeah, it's like bam in your face kind of thing. The lip gloss, I... I wore different lipsticks this week, but the one thing I always had that I really fell in love with is... A, Holy Grail is NYC Big Apple Spice Lip Gloss. You can get this at Walmart. This is like one of my very, very first lip glosses. Not this exact one, but this color was. And the color is not coming off. I love this. I will always have this. This is the backup I finally broke open. And oh, it is so pretty. Especially this time of year. It's just a really beautiful color. I guess it's like a... Kind of copper brown color, I guess. And it's just really, really pretty. It goes a lot. goes great with a lot of looks that you're going to do. So, love that. Find my towel here. The other lip product, I used the holy crap out of this. I had to carry, like, a lip brush with me this week in my purse because I was using it so much. And I, whenever I, whenever I was on the floor at work, I would grab this and I found out that they got a cream brulee flavor which I didn't know that had come out and so I'm thinking about getting that the um, the Vaseline lip therapy I told you guys a while back that I did a review on these and I hated these because they dried my lips out I think it was the wrong time of year for me to use those these are awesome I have the rose hip one I think is what it's called I'm not sure but oh my gosh this week this has saved my lips and so sorry I did that video but uh that's why I like to go back and revisit products I said didn't work for me. Hey, they'll work for me now. So, yeah, I've used the crap out of this. And if you haven't tried these, these are really inexpensive, really awesome. Put a little dab on your lips and it keeps them moisturized. And, oh my gosh. And it's easy enough for you to just put in your pocket if you need to. So, love these. And I wish I wouldn't have given a bad review, but I did. But, you know, we all learn and we go from there. So, yeah, definitely. And I love their Cocoa Butter, um line of uh, their lotions this thing mm, awesome kind of like vanilla now the highlight i used for both blushes this week was a product i mentioned my favorite elf products i think video this is in pink tastic it's their elf baked blush i'm telling you this is an awesome blush i've got to learn how to get up earlier because i'm losing lighting like bad and i don't know if you'll be able to see that it's either on three minute thursday or friday's video so definitely pick this up. These are awesome. These bait blushes are the bomb. Um, I really like how they are. They are a little drying, but this one is a great highlight, especially during this time of year when you want a little bit more glow. I guess. <clears throat> and the last two products that I relied heavily on, I told you guys I was really getting back into black eyeliner, and my nose is still itching. The Wet n Wild Black Black Eyeliner. I have this lid on there from another eyeliner. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I wore this quite a bit too. You can get these um, usually when they go on sale for like 67, 69 cents. And I of course wore Berry Berry from Essence. Apologize about my voice going out. It's just like <coughs> I think I'm gonna let my voice rest. There's the swatch. And that concludes my favorites video. I don't know what's going on with my voice. I hope to God I'm not trying to get sick. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know some of your favorite products for this week in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, again, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time in my video. See you later. Thank you.